Yo, what's up guys and welcome to the channel. And it's been a while, but we finally got a fight between Bobby Green and Grant Dawson now. This is a fight that should not be happening right now. This is a fight that does not make any sort of sense. Bobby Green is coming off one win over Tony and he's getting a, a top 15 opponent. This doesn't make any sense. Grant Dawson just beat Demir Ismagalov, and I thought he would lose that fight, but he won it. Uh, on the other hand, Bobby Green's kind of getting older, so this fight doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Grant Dawson is a massive overachiever. I mean, he's beaten so many people already. I mean, this guy, he has so many wins at this point. I don't know when he's going to take that step up in competition. I don't know who he's going to fight. I saw his uh, interview. He wants to fight, you know, Dan Hooker and Diego Ferreira or something like that. I don't know who else. He called out Matt Frivola. Come on. Like, let's get other fights, all right? The Dan Hooker one makes sense, all right? That one makes sense. But at the end of the day, Grant Dawson is definitely someone that could give a lot of people problems. But his stand-up's a bit mediocre. And his grappling's very good. His grappling's very good. Uh, his wrestling's, un like, really good. I didn't think his wrestling was going to be good enough to beat Demir, but it was. He took Demir's back, uh, messed, uh, messed Demir up a bit because Demir just couldn't get anything going. He was just... In self-defense mode, the entire fight, trying to defend uh, against the grappling of Grant Dawson, and he couldn't get out of the uh, body triangle. He was controlled very well. And Grant Dawson, in my opinion, he just seems to me like one of those guys that he's going to fight for a title. And I know it doesn't make sense, right, because Grant Dawson does not look like he has the skills to fight for the title in the lightweight division. You know what I mean? In the lightweight division, this doesn't seem like the type of skill set that gets you a title fight. But sometimes it's these guys that you don't think are that good that are actually really good. It's they're, they're so effective, you know, that they're just there's a beauty about like looking like you're not that good and being that good, if you know what I mean. Like look at Sean Strickland, for example. There's these guys that they don't look that great. Was anyone hyping up Leon Edwards when he was on the rise? Like, oh, Leon's going to be everyone. I mean, we don't know about that, but like Leon's going to be champ. No, Leon was never hyped up because he didn't visually look that good. I mean, he didn't, he looked good, but he didn't look like championship good, right? But at the same time, Grant Dawson is dominant right now, and he's looking to um, get another win over Bobby Green, another win. <laughs> it's one win over Bobby Green and bounce. Uh, Bobby Green is actually pretty hard to take down. He has pretty good takedown defense, and we saw this in the, uh, in the, in the Clay Guido fight and in other fights as well. I think he... He stopped a lot of Alon Petrik's takedowns, but come on, man. Like, this is a different level. Uh, the Makachev fight was, like, really bad. You know, he stopped one takedown. And as soon as Makachev clasped his hands together, he immediately got the guy down and beat him up. And that's one of Bobby's weaknesses is he's one of these guys that he doesn't have the best, you know, ground game when he's on the ground. He just does not have that level of grappling. We've seen him. I, I, don't, I don't remember, but I, I, I know. I don't know. I might be wrong here. But all I'm saying is Bobby Green does get out grappled a lot. And I don't think this is going to be a good matchup for him. I don't think he's going to win this. I think Grant Dawson is just... I think some people just turn. You know, like, he's just gone so much better. that All the, the draw from Rick Len, that's from the past, all right? This is a, a completely different guy. His mentality is, is really competitive. And I don't think he's here to... Uh, give up and he fights like he, he doesn't fight but he talks like a guy that i just see fighting for title because he doesn't put a lot of pressure on himself you know he just kind of shows up and wins and just kind of does his thing he doesn't really care it doesn't seem like he cares that much he, he probably does but like when you have that mentality where you're just like dude i'm just showing up like i'm just showing up i tried my best whatever i'm making money uh, i'm doing what i like to do and there's something with this mentality that actually gets you really far Instead of like constantly trying to be a perfectionist and caring too much about like the the oh, just caring too much is just not a good thing in my opinion. I feel like when you kind of ease that pressure off yourself, it's just much easier for you. You know what I mean? So I do see uh, Grant Dawson winning this fight uh, probably by submission, but I could see a decision where he kind of mixes it up a bit. I see a stand up giving Bobby some problems mixed in the wrestling and the jujitsu. Bobby is not gonna win this fight and. I, uh, that's the only fight I'm going to predict here. I'm going to go live later tonight. Uh, so uh, keep uh, your notifications on uh, when I go live. And we're going to talk about a lot of stuff. Uh, we're going to talk about upcoming fights, uh, predictions, opinions, blah, 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 all that stuff. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. 
and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.